one confused individual right he's there. He's been confused for a long time. He's a Russian fighting a Russian and carrying an American flag. How do you figure that one out? I haven't figured that one out. He's a new American. What is a new American? Too much Mexicans that come over and become Americans. They, they think just because they came over they're now Americans or what? military with, uh, what Mill's done so far, and, and he'd be a very good soldier from what I hear. I have to ask you one question. Well, just one. Why Dr. Tom Hitcher? Well, it goes back a long way. Like I just got done through saying, I don't think you were here. I got... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, I was He's swinging. It off. No. Have you heard him sing? Yeah. You don't want no, that. No wonder he got hit in the back of the head. No, I, I first of all... I was deemed a doctor of psychology a long time ago because when I get in the ring, I'm a lot more smarter than my opponents ever thought of being. I knew every move they were going to make before they made it. And then later on, I got my degree in gynecology, which helped me a lot through uh, uh, through the nights and on the road and through the long, lonely days and nights I, I spent uh, down in the Tennessee area. So I'd love for you to tell us the stories, but this is a family oh. show. This, no, this can't be a family show when you got a guy like this who, who came from so Russia, a communist. Say it. It's a tiger. Oh. Well, like no, a it isn't. To me, doesn't it's it? something. It, there's another name for it, but we're not going to use it here. Oh. It's a tiger. Does it need One a of my tail? admirers. Yeah, well. You had a good. You should have been up here last weekend. We had a hell of a party. Yeah, well, I, I would have loved to have been up here last weekend compared to where I was. Where were you? I was in the snow driven Kentucky mountains, and it was still snowing last weekend, which is really a drag. I come up here and it's like 70 degrees, and down south where they're supposed to have sunshine, they still have snow on the ground. Yeah. And speaking of snow on the ground, does this guy still live in Siberia, man, or does he make his home here? He, he lives uh, just outside of Baltimore, Maryland, I understand. No wonder now, why anybody wouldn't to live yeah. in Baltimore, I don't know, but yeah. you know, that's beside the point. Yeah, that is beside the point. Tell, tell me, what tropical island do you like to go to first? to get such a uh, beautiful tan. I like Tahiti. Tahiti is the island of paradise. I just saw it on 48 Hours the other day, too, and uh, they talked about the island of paradise where they have nothing but virgins, and when I get over there, I'm going to change all that. that that's going to be a uh, population explosion. Like you yeah, it will be a population explosion. The island with nothing but virgins, and uh, it's not the virgin island. Don't get no. me wrong. No, 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 no. Island of nothing I, but I virgins. Yeah, I understand no. there's no a gynecologist dream, Dr. Tom. Yeah, no kidding. I understand, you, I understand there's no virgins whatsoever in the Virgin Islands. You have already been there. Yes, I have been there, and I made a point to make sure there were no more virgins left by the time I got done. Yeah. I wonder if Nikolai, Ver, uh, Nikolai Virgin, Nikolai Volkov is still a virgin, too, and after this match, it looks like the rest of the assassins going to make sure that uh, uh, those tights he has are, are what? Are they cherry red? Can we say cherry red? Yes, I think we can say cherry okay. red. That's what I'm Sweet charity. Sweet charity, yeah. Well, I, I like sweet charity too. I am really happy. I am delighted to be in Baltimore for some reason. I am Why? looking around. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm looking around here, and I didn't think they had any beautiful women at all here. But well, I've got a couple, but. I, you know, I've seen a couple. As a matter of fact, we have one of the most beautiful valets coming to the ring with us tonight. I, oh, who I said, I said yes, yes, very indeed. good. We're taking her tag team spot to defend the belt. And I have been really impressed with the, the manner, with the uh, fort I, the I, beauty that they, the perfume that she has on tonight is absolutely incredible. That'll do too, by the way. I've been smelling that all night long. I, oh. I, I, oh, I, I just yeah. joined your fan club. Yeah, well, I, listen, man, it's a long-growing list. A long-growing list. Uh, do, do you guys ever talk about the match, man, at all? I, you know, first of all, I oh, wouldn't yeah, either. Match, I, I was going to say the same thing. I don't think they're I've really... I've got Dr. Tom Bridgman sitting here. What do I want to talk about that match That's for? That's a good attitude. I like that, too. Well, we were hoping that you would call this match for I, You know, this match needs to be out of the ring now, as far as I'm concerned. They could go ahead and put the heavenly bodies on and save this show right now. And you can tell Piper I said that, too. When was the last time you saw Piper? I saw him at WrestleMania 10, as a matter of fact, and I told him, Roddy, you're looking well. That's about all I said to him. Was that all you said to him? That's right. Uh, well, it didn't get too far. And she's a very good looking that, that will do, I, I think. Yeah, not I, that. I, I can't, I yeah. can't you to her. Uh, well, listen, I'm, I'm up for it. Uh, yeah. If ISIS is you're okay with it. One. <laughs> well, listen, I, it's, it's a safe sex world out there, and I'm glad to be a part of it.
That's why I did get my degree in gynecology, just to make sure that people would uh, be safe and sound in this You world. gotta spread the word, Tom. I spread the word every chance I get. And she was uh, listening to me last night, as a matter of fact. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. The, the views and opinions expressed by Dr. Tom Richard do not necessarily reflect those of this show. Well, it's obviously because you guys are from the north and I'm from Texas where they know what's going on. Unlike this manager on the outside, I may not like Nikolai Volkov. I may not think too much of the guy. You know, he, he comes to, to the WWF tapings wearing a really nice suit week after week, week after week. I, I don't know how often he takes it to the laundry or dry cleaners, but uh, the guy is a pretty powerful man. I will say that for him. And this Russian assassin, assassin can I say assassin? You can say assassin. Uh, okay. Uh, is, is finding out that uh, once you get in the ring with a guy like this, you better be prepared or else you're going to get hurt. Well, there's a big weight differential between the two, and Nikolai yeah, has, kidding. what, 20, 25 years experience on that boy? Yeah, I'd say Ooh. 25 years at the very least, yeah. You know, I can understand the guy coming into professional wrestling wanting to make it a name for himself, signing a contract against somebody like Nikolai Volkov, but sometimes, sometimes you do have to wonder does he have a PhD or is he just off the streets coming in here trying to make a name for himself? I, I'm not sure exactly uh, uh, if I, at this point in my career, uh, would want to fight against somebody this much bigger than me. Although, I think with your speed, Tom, you could do say, it. Yeah, maybe my speed, experience, and wit, maybe I could get to I, I think you could do it without a problem. I, I really do. Is that, is that speed? Unfortunately, is the Russian speed? assassin is just not speed? quite experienced. That's an epidermis. No. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. I'm not sure how he did it, why he did it, but he did do it. <laughs> too much power, too much experience. That's what a bold fan And maybe too much speed for Nikolai this evening. Uh, and not enough speed for the poor guy laying in the ring from uh, Helsinki, Russia. Is that in, the, in Russia?